I know, I know, it's not Christmas yet. It's not even Halloween yet, but we need to start thinking about what we want to do for each other for Christmas this time of year because before you know it, your shipment's going to be late and your special someone is going to be waiting right around January 3rd for their Christmas gift. So to get a head start on the holiday shopping, I'm here to share with you my ultimate board gaming gift guide for you to find the perfect gift for that special hardcore board gamer in your life. Hi there, if you're new to my channel, I, I'm the One Pip Wonder. My name's Jonna, and I do videos about board games that I like, game nights, the whole hobby, the whole board gaming culture and whatnot. So today we're talking about Christmas gifts. And you may be wondering like, what made you the authority on Christmas gifts for board gamers? Well, I'm not. I've, you know, not been a gamer my whole life and I, I went through a few years where I was trying to figure out what my husband wanted for Christmas. So I have that experience in the back of my belt and now that I am a board gamer, I know what I want for Christmas. But seriously, I asked people on social media what they wanted for Christmas. So that's really how I found out what board gamers really want. So I was diligent in preparing for this video and I put out a question on a couple of different websites, social media websites, asking people in my board gaming community what they wanted for Christmas. And I got a lot of great responses. The number one response that I got from board gamers is something that they definitely did not want from their loved ones this year for Christmas. And that is a board game. Crazy talk. Why wouldn't a board gamer want a board game for Christmas? Now, don't get me wrong, if they've given you a specific request for, you know, blank board game, get it for them. I mean, that's what they want and that's great. If they've given you a specific board game that they would like, just do it. I mean, they, they will be happy then. But if they haven't given you a specific board game or you don't feel like you wanted to ask for something that specific, then don't like just guess what board game they might like. And that's because board gaming and cultivating your collection as a board gamer is very personal. People take a lot of pride in it. And I'd say about, I don't know, maybe 40% of this hobby is the thrill of the hunt for the perfect board game. So you don't want to take that away from them. Besides, they were also extremely clear about what they do want for Christmas from their loved ones. And this again was across the grid, like I would say 60 to 70% of the responses I got said this in one way or another. What board gamers want for Christmas is for their friends and family to happily play board games with them. I know, it's great. All you have to do is buy them a Christmas card put three or four board gaming vouchers in that card that says, good for one board game night, your choice. Board game, your choice. Or offer, if they have kids, offer babysitting for them. That's equally as valuable. Being able to get away for a night is just so much fun for a board gamer knowing that they can play games without any distractions. I know this gift idea sounds kind of lame. It's kind of what we did when we were children and we couldn't afford gifts for mom and dad. We'd give them, you know, a, a coupon for a hug or, you know, making them breakfast or something like that. But this really is the heart of what board gaming is for board gamers, that they want to connect with people and share their board games and they want to have fun with you. So be open to that and give them what they want. <laughs> Now, if you already know this, if this isn't your first rodeo with this hardcore gamer in your life, then I have a couple more suggestions for you of board gaming gifts that will take your board gamer's breath away. Just, just so you know, they might already have these things and in that case, you know, go into the next idea. Um, so the first suggestion that I would give is to 
buy them a nice travel bag that will carry their board games for them. There's a lot of different styles out there. They're on um, board gaming websites, but they're also on Amazon. You can find a lot of different deals for them. They range anywhere between 30 and $150. So, you know, you can kind of pick your price point. So it can make a really nice, special big gift for Christmas, or it can make just kind of like a really, like kind of unexpected gift maybe that isn't super expensive. So board gaming transportation bags are really useful and practical. If it's not something that they have, it may be something that they would get a lot of use out of. I will put a link to some places where you can check out different items um, in the description box below. This video is not sponsored in any way, but I'm just kind of giving you a little direction in where to shop, what websites to check out. If you're not familiar with the different board gaming resources out there, um, you can check out those links below. My second recommendation is to buy them some cool merchandise from their favorite content creators. Like me! Actually, I don't have any merchandise, so uh, not me, but um, maybe if they're big fans of uh, the Dice Tower, watch it played. You know, kind of check out, see, see what they're watching on YouTube. See what content creators they really like. Uh, you can visit the channel and usually uh, the different YouTube channels will have merchandise links li listed in their description boxes and you can purchase t-shirts and mugs. You can even get cool face masks. These purchases go to support those content creators and then your loved one will have a little merch from their favorite content creator. So it's a really nice gift choice that's thoughtful and will show them that like, oh, you kind of paid attention to their interests. This next suggestion is pretty, pretty high end. They, I think they would be super, super surprised if you got them this. Now again, make sure they don't already have this. There are certain games that um, certain board gamers really gravitate towards and they just love to pimp out, get all sorts of accessories for. Uh, and one of those things is to get specialized organization boxes for those games. So one game, for example, would be Spirit Island. If your board gamer is a Spirit Island friend, like big fan, the Spirit Island organization boxes that Broken Token creates are phenomenal. They make the ease of gameplay so much better. Uh, and they range these these organizational boxes and you can even buy special crates to put everything in. I know this sounds really intense if you're not used to board gaming um, culture and hobby talk, but they're very useful because board games usually do have a lot of pieces and just being able to find what you need and set things up easier makes the gaming experience so much better. And this will range anywhere between $45 and you know $150. So. I will um, link Broken Token in the description box below so you can check out the things. See if maybe there's a favorite, something there that um, would work for the type of games that your board gamer really likes. Now my next suggestion is kind of branching a little bit further away from uh, just the gen like traditional board gaming culture into um, RPG playing, like Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, that sort of thing. If your board gamer kind of fits into there too, another great Christmas gift is fancy dice. I can tell you from experience, if they're pretty, they'll love them. They don't have to be super expensive. Dice can range anywhere between $6 for a set and $100, depending what the material is made out of. Uh, dice for board gamers or gamers or RPG players is like their jewelry. like. You, it's just pretty and it's fun and it's a way to like kind of express yourself personally. So if you see dice that remind you of your gamer, that might be something they would really like because you can have, never have too many dice. So you see some nice dice, go for it. My next suggestion is tabletop treatments. You can get really big like neoprene mats that you can cover your table. These are great for when you're rolling dice or playing cards. It kind of makes the board gaming table feel a little bit more customized, it's more comfortable, and it works better for different gaming situations. So that's a really nice suggestion, and they can be a little pricey, so it's another nice, bigger gift 
option for your loved one. The next two are huge investments. So these are like, maybe your gamer has talked to you about wanting to do this and you didn't really know if you wanted to do it yet or like maybe they just mentioned it and you didn't really, you know, talk about it any further than them mentioning it. A really nice thing to do is to upgrade the furniture in the gaming room, whether it be the table or the chairs. Usually the game room gets, you know, whatever's left from the rest of the house furniture. So if you invest in buying some just nice new comfortable chairs, that will be a huge improvement for them and I mean a couple people said like they want new gaming furniture so that may be something you want to talk to them about get them involved in picking out what they want but that's a really nice gift option and the other big one and this there's a big caveat you have to make sure that your board gamer already wants this because it's a big investment and it's not for everybody and that is a 3d printer I've heard people say over and over and over again how 3D printing has been such a huge change in their board gaming life. They can make all sorts of components for their board games. They can do all sorts of organizational um, uh, containers for their board games. It just allows them to make their hobby even more their own. So if that's something that they've talked about or expressed interest in, man, they would be floored if you bought them a 3D printer for Christmas. And they're gonna have to step it up next year. If you get them a 3D printer, they're gonna have to step it up, you know, get some diamonds or, um, you know, take you on a little cruise or something like that. Oh yeah, they're gonna owe you big time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know. All right, and the last recommendation I have for you is dice trays. This is kind of like a little bit of a smaller gift that you could get for pretty much anyone. Dice trays can be all sorts of different colors. You, they can be anywhere between $10 and $50, depending on what type of uh, dice tray you get. Etsy has some amazing board gaming accessories. Just go on Etsy, type in dice trays, you will have so many options and you just need to find one that like says, oh, that is totally, you know, so-and-so buy that and they will love it. And the last suggestion, and I think is one of the most important ones is a gift card to a local game store or maybe even an art store. If you have a local game store in the area, be sure to support them, buy a gift card for your gamer, you cannot go wrong. You are golden, your gamer will be happy, and you'll be supporting local business. And if your gamer is into painting minis, and just a plain old like art supply store is a great gift card to get them because they're often buying paints and um, paintbrushes and all sorts of crafty art supplies. So that's also a really nice one to do. Those are all the suggestions that I thought of as well as the suggestions that people shared with me that they would like for Christmas this year. I hope this is gonna help you get excited for Christmas shopping for your board gamer this year. And if you were maybe a little disappointed that I didn't talk specifically about board game recommendations, just you wait. I am gonna be doing two more videos about Christmas shopping guides for stocking stuffers as well as family games. So stay tuned, you will see more specific re recommendations for board games, card games, and some more uh, board gaming accessories that would make really great gifts for anybody. So keep an eye out for those. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have been online for a while, why not take a break? <laughs> It's not great for my analytics, but it is good for your mental health to take a break from social media. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Stay safe out there, happy shopping, and I'll see you in another video. A board game that's 60% off at Bad Bath & Beyond This is my favorite time of year, except it's not here yet. <laughs> we even haven't, it, thanks. <laughs> with shipping lately, and with the shipping lately, with the shipping lately, who knows when our 
packages are gonna get here. Ugh. 